The horrors that Hamas perpetrated on October 7th remind us that we will not realize the promise of a better future unless we, the civilized world, are willing to fight the barbarians. Because the barbarians are willing to fight us. And their goal is clear. Shatter that promising future. Destroy all that we cherish. And usher in a world of fear and darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a turning point. A turning point for leaders and nations. It is time for all of us to decide if we are willing to fight for a future of hope and promise. Or surrender to tyranny and terror. Now rest assured, Israel will fight. Since October 7th, Israel has been at war. Israel did not start this war. Israel did not want this war. But Israel will win this war. Hamas launched this war by perpetrating the worst savagery our people have seen since the Holocaust. Hamas murdered children in front of their parents, murdered parents in front of their children. They burned people alive. They raped women. They beheaded men. They tortured Holocaust survivors. They kidnapped babies. They committed the most horrific crimes imaginable. And they're part of the axis of evil that Iran has formed. An axis of terror that works by arming, training, and financing Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, and other terror proxies throughout the Middle East and beyond the Middle East. In fighting Hamas and the Iranian axis of terror, Israel is fighting the enemies of civilization.